Hello everyone, I'm Eric Richardson. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of how Active Directory works and why it's a smart choice for user management, especially when you're using Access Camera Station Pro in multi-site or growing environments. Let's begin with the basics. Active Directory is a Microsoft tool that allows companies to organize and manage users, computers, and permissions, all from a central place. With Active Directory, it's much easier to control who can log in, what they can access, and to keep everything secure. Everything is managed through a single system, which really helps keep things efficient and consistent. So what makes Active Directory worth using? There are several reasons. Centralized control. Instead of managing users on every individual system, you control everything from one place. This reduces complexity and helps prevent mistakes. Easy onboarding and offboarding. When someone joins or leaves the company, you can quickly add or remove their access, which is especially important for security. Consistent permissions. Active Directory helps make sure everyone has the right access. No matter how many systems you're running, there's no need to manually update every server. Improved security. So with Active Directory, you can control exactly who has access to which resource, reducing risk across the whole company. Saves time. By automating user management, you avoid having to repeat the same tasks for each system. This frees up time for IT and reduces the chances of something slipping through the cracks. All of this is managed by Active Directory Domain Controller, which sits in the center and connects users, groups, and devices. Now let's look at how this works when you're managing users across multiple locations with Access Camera Station Pro. At the center, we have Active Directory Domain Controller. This is where all the user accounts and groups are created and managed. Users, whether they're at a central monitoring station, working remotely, or based at any site, use their domain credentials to log in to Access Camera Station Pro clients. The connection between users and domain controllers and the different ACS Pro servers are made securely, typically using a LAN, VPN, or secure remote access. Each site, whether it's site A, B, or C, runs its own Access Camera Station Pro server. But thanks to Active Directory, you don't need to create separate accounts on each server. User permissions and group membership are managed centrally. Let's say you add a new operator to your team. You simply add them to the right group in Active Directory. That user will now have access to all relevant ACS Pro servers with the correct permissions. No extra manual steps required. So to get this working, there are two steps. First, the ACS Pro server needs to be joined to your Active Directory domain. After that, you can start adding users or groups from the domain directly into Access Camera Station Pro. So let's walk through how to join an Access Camera Station Pro server to your Active Directory domain. On your Access Camera Station Pro server, open Windows settings on the control panel, Go to System, and then About. Select Rename this PC on the Computer Name tab. Go down to Rename this computer, or change its domain name or workgroup, and click Change. Select the Domain Radius button and enter in your company's domain name. When prompted for a username, password, please enter that. We are now welcome to the domain, and we're prompted to restart the Access Camera Station Pro server. So in my case, it's okay to restart now. This allows it to recognize and work with your domain, users, and groups. After joining the server to the domain, the next thing you need is to create the user and groups that will be used for permissions. So creating users or groups in Active Directory is normally handled by your IT department or the system administrator. If you need a new user or group, it's best to contact them first and follow your organizational procedures. However, for this video, I'll show you how you can add a user or group to Active Directory so you can understand the full process and how it fits into the bigger picture. So to create a new user, open up Active Directory Users and Computers. 
In the left hand panel, select the folder or organizational unit you want the new user or group to be created in. So for example, here we want to create the new user and group in the training users organizational unit. So on the right hand pane, you can click and select new and then select users. Here we can type in the user's first name and surname. So Matthew and Mead, and then we can give them a username to log in with. So Matthew.mead. You can now press next to set the password. So we'll set him a secure password. Confirm that. You should also deselect user must change password at next login and select password never expires. Click next and then finish. Once we've created that new user, we can then go to Access Camera Station Pro and add the user directly in and give them specific roles and permissions. However, what we can also do is create new groups and add users to these groups. So for example, I've created a group called Training Operators. And here we can add lots of different users to this group. So for example, here I've got two users, but I want to add this new user, Matthew Mead, to this group. So we can go ahead and enter in and search for this user. So we can highlight the user and press OK. OK this. And now we've selected that user and added that user to that group. Press Apply to save the changes and then OK. Now this new user account is ready. It can be assigned permissions in Access Camera Station Pro. So let's hop on over to Access Camera Station Pro server and add a user and group. So once this server has restarted as it has now, it's now a part of your Active Directory domain. This allows it to recognize and work with your domain users and groups. With your server joined to the domain, you can start managing access directly from Access Camera Station Pro. Here's how you can add users or groups from Active Directory into Access Camera Station Pro. You first of all need to log in with an administrator account. By default, all users that are in the local administrators group will have full admin access to Access Camera Station Pro. So we can continue to log in to this computer and we'll log in as the current user. So once you've logged in, navigate to the plus sign and open up a new configuration tab. Go down to security and select user permissions. From here, we can then start adding our groups or our users. So we can click on add. Make sure that we select our domain, ACS lab, or if you want, you can also still add local Windows users. So from here, we can then search for our group or our users. For example, I want to add the training operators group that was created. We'll select that group and then click add. From there, we assign a role to this group. So in this case, they should be an operator. And then from here, we can then assign specific permissions for this operators group. So in this case, I would like them to have full access to all the cameras. And I would like them to have access to the view. Now, I don't want them to have access to take snapshots, export recordings, access alarms, tasks and logs, access data search or categorize events. And I don't want them to have access to access system health monitoring. Once I'm happy with that, I can then press save. Now, once that's saved, anyone in the training operators group can then log into this system. We can also add single users if that's necessary. The real benefit here is that all user management stays centralized. If you need to update permissions or remove access, you only need to make the change once in Active Directory, and it reflects everywhere, including all your Access Camera Station Pro servers. So to sum up, Active Directory makes it easier to manage users in Access Camera Station Pro by letting you control access from one place. Use groups for role-based permission and scale up across multiple servers or sites. 
At the same time, using Active Directory means you'll need to set up a domain. Work with your IT team and keep in mind that AD outages can affect user logins. If you're setting up Active Directory with Access Camera Station Pro, it's a good idea to contact IT before you start. Make sure to often review who has access and test things with a few accounts before rolling out changes to everyone. Check that users and groups aren't a part of the local administrators group since that would give them full admin rights in Access Camera Station Pro. It also helps to show users how to log in with their Active Directory credentials. For more details on user management, you can always check the documentation on access.com. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. See you next time.